hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so the topic of today's discussion is sinus bradycardia it refers to the heart rate of less than 60 beats per minute and it is called sinus because each p wave is followed by qrs complex so this is a normal sinus rhythm that is p wave followed by qrs complex and t wave if you want me to go into a depth of ecg please let me know in the comment section so i will create a new video on ecg only so this is a rhythm of sinus bradycardia and i am saying it's sinus because there is a p wave which is followed by qrs complex and uh, it's bradycardia because there is a prolonged interval between rr so if i can calculate the rhythm so the my, my way of calculating rhythm is i calculated that one big box is equals to 300 so if there are two big boxes then 300 divided by 2 so 150 so three big boxes will be 100 and four big boxes will be 75 and five will be 60 so there are more than five big boxes between two rr waves so the rhythm is less than 60 beats per minute so it's a bradycardia the causes of bradycardia include myocardial infarction increased vagal tone especially in athletes sleep inferior volume metabolic causes including hypothermia hypothyroidism hypoxia raised into a cranial pressure drugs example beta blockers calcium channel blockers a myodron and six sinus syndrome which is a tachybrady syndrome i have another video on six sinus syndrome you can go and watch it so the symptoms of bradycardia include lightheadedness or dizziness especially with exertion easy fatigability syncope or near syncope dyspnea chest pain or discomfort and confusion so asymptomatic patients may not require any treatment however for the symptomatic patients best initial therapy would be atropine it causes an increase in heart rate this increase in heart rate occurs when atropine blocks the effect of vagus nerve on the heart however the most effective therapy is going to be a pacemaker pacemaker monitors heart rhythm and if it detects any irregularity it sends electrical impulses to the heart to improve pacing and induce a normal rhythm so that's the end of the lecture i hope you learned something from it if you do please like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for